hello i am shaniqua and this is imperfectly neat welcome to my channel so i am here today if you cannot tell by the title but this week we are on msc seashores cruise and we are here for a total of nine days i'm so very excited to be able to bring this information to you all about my experience here on msc if you have watched any of my videos before then you will kind of know how it works i will post a video of the full content of my vlog edited of course but of my entire experience room tours excursions etc 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 it will always have timestamps down below for you as well if you want that to be something you can skip around and see the different things that you are more interested in following that you'll see other videos that are secluded based off of different things so room tours excursions maybe you could see it all night it breaks down the video into shorter fashions for those who have a short attention span just kidding but seriously for those who just want specific videos on specific things so make sure you take a look at all of that information if you have any questions please be sure to comment down below and i'll respond to all the questions you have as well so let's get into it all right so you come in here and this is the view that you have on this side you're gonna have your temperature controlled over here over here you're gonna have where you input your key card so that the lights will come on then once you open the bathroom door you're gonna go inside and this is going to be a bathroom area and then down here is going to be a regular sink water that flows into it then you have a shelving area on this side then you've got your towels stacked on this side your toilet obviously another towel another toilet paper inside is your shower area you're gonna have your shower gel and shampoo you're also going to have obviously your shower head at the top so that you can use that and just a drain just a normal shower as we head back out this way you're going to have the main portion of the room on this side you are going to have your sofa it may be a sleeper so yes it is a pull out as well then once you come up past the pull out you're going to have the bed of the area over here, but I'll get back to that in just one second. If you come back to this area, you are going to have some shelving on this side. And then you are going to have your ice bucket, some water, a mirror is over here as well. And then down here, you have your mini bar that's located in here. Now, if you take anything from this mini bar, then you will still be paying for it. Uh, this basically is notated by inventory. But if you have children and you don't want them to have access, there is a lock here as well. So you have the wireless charging area right here that you're able to use as well as the plugs that are provided. So then you here you have a mirror and then here is your tv you also have a phone right here then you come over this way you're gonna have some air uh, some um instruction cards safety in crisis you're gonna have plugs down here and over here trash can is here and then some drawer spacing as well to utilize then when you come on this side back to the bed area you're gonna have a nightstand over here with an extra blanket then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna have a light switch that turns off the lights in the entire room and back on as well all located right by your bed so you don't even have to get up and then if you head out here there's gonna be another nightstand on that side as well then if you go out here you're gonna step onto your balcony view And there's chairs, a footstool slash table, another chair over here. Also, when you're back inside, slam this closed to lock it. But also, you have this curtain that blacks it out in here. So it becomes completely dark. So these are blackout curtains that you can close if you want it to be completely dark in here. And over here are going to be your light switches that are going to tell you um, if you want your room either do not disturb or if you want them to make it up. So you click it and the light will illuminate on the outside, letting them know whether you do not want to be disturbed or if you want your room to be made up. This is cool. I've never seen this before. And this is where it will illuminate on the outside. All right, y'all. So a few things have been going on today. We are finally on board the MSC Seashore and we are here for a total of nine days. In the beginning of part of this video, I sporadically videotaped the things that I can see. However, there were people everywhere because we were all boarding the boat. And I want to make sure you guys get an uninterrupted view about what there is here to offer. So as I mentioned that, I want to let you guys know that's pretty much all we did. We roamed the boat. We got something to eat. We sat and got a drink at the bar and we learned a lot about some different 
options that are on MSC. One thing I can notice, let me just give a disclaimer now, I have only been on Carnival Cruises. With that being said, that means I'm gonna compare this to what my experiences have been on other cruises. Now, something that I noticed on this cruise with MSC so far is that they're very pushy about their drink and food packages that they offer here on the ship. With that being said, you will be told at least 10 times, probably more, that that is something you will get someone trying to get you to buy it, all the things. And I completely get it. It's actually worth your money. I am getting the drink package for us as well. So I can tell you about that worth and what that is like in a later video. But my point overall is they will be letting you know that they are offering these different packages multiple times by multiple different people in multiple places. But other than that, that has pretty much been all we have done today. Right now we have been in our cabin because we had the safety briefing video and we're waiting for them to call our decks to go to our stations. Once we complete all of that, then the fun will start. If you have not subscribed to my channel thus far, please make sure you do so. I can't wait to connect with you in the future. Also, I want to point out this mirror here for all of my ladies. This is going to be a mirror that you can do your makeup and everything. And I have since also, since discovering this mirror, let's just say like I love it. I have all my stuff stored up here. Ignore the tape. I didn't want those to bust open. But all my stuff, like, love it. All stacked up here. I actually have more things, but yeah. Y'all, this has been a day. We have been on the move. We walked around the ship. We got some food. We ate at one of the restaurants. I didn't get it on camera because it was just way too much. So I'm just going to get it later. But the point is we have been like moving all day long and it has been exhausting. So we are going to just relax for us in the night. There's nothing else really tonight that we are planning on doing at this point. Um, we did get the drink package. So I'm excited to tell you guys at the end of this if I feel like it's worth it. So stay tuned for that video as well. But other than that we're just gonna chill for us tonight so i will catch y'all in the morning good morning good morning it is now our second day here on msc seashore which is actually like our first full day but this is actually a day at sea so this entire day we'll be on the boat exploring seeing what it has to offer um, right now we're getting ready to head down to the internet area so my husband can get his internet package together and then after that we'll see where the rest of the day takes us so we are now back in our room I have a mimosa after we got breakfast at the marketplace. I wasn't able to get a video of the marketplace because it's so much going on trying to get your food and walk around, but I will get that later on the video, so stay tuned. And make sure you check out the timestamps down below as well if you just wanna skip around to see the things that you are interested in. So right now we are back in our room. My husband did not unpack as I did yesterday. So he's gonna go ahead and do that now and then we are going to explore the boat. So stay tuned for some more shots of all the things that I'm seeing on the boat. So guys, so far today, we have just been hanging out. We got some food, went to a food tasting, and now we are sitting in the jungle bar area, which is also a pool. And it's really cool to kind of be here and hang out. And we met some cool people, so that's nice. We're just really enjoying all this things that I have to offer and just relaxing, not really demanding any locations for us at this point. Y'all gotta eat anything y'all say, like, okay. 
Right, I don't get drunk. Okay, great. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, dude, you did a good job. It's not good playing the bar test. No, it's just a good. Oh, yeah. It's oh, like yeah. refreshing. This is very refreshing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't say the same. Don't get excited. All right, y'all, so we are now at the infinity pool that is all the way at the back of the ship. And the shots here, the view here is absolutely beautiful. You can see all the things, all the ocean miles and miles and miles away. The only thing I did not like is they don't allow you to have drinks up here. So uh, we had to chug our drinks before we made it up the stairs, but it is absolutely beautiful here. Look at these views. Good morning, good morning guys. Today is our third day on the boat and we are going to be docking in San Juan, Puerto Rico at about 5 p.m. this evening. So right now it's about 12 p.m. Uh, we're getting dressed because it's Halloween in our Halloween costumes and then we are going to head around the boat to get something to eat and see what Halloween activities they have to offer. And then later tonight we are going to dock in San Juan, Puerto Rico and we are going to explore. I'm going to get some arepas. If you have not had arepas, you need to get it. It's so good. And then I'm going. we are going to explore Old San Juan. So we're only there from like 5 p.m. to about 11.30 p.m. So not a huge amount of time in San Juan. But it's okay. Those are the two things that I want to do and we're going to get it done. Last night, we had a great time at the club. It was really, really fun. It's probably one of the best cruise ships clubs that I've ever been on, like the DJ mixing, the whole atmosphere. There was a bunch of levels, like everything about that club was absolutely amazing. So we had a good time there and we're gonna go and probably go back there again later tonight. So I'll catch you on a little bit. All right, y'all, so we are in our Halloween costumes. Can you guess what we are? I'm his deer, and he's the hunter. All right, y'all, so we are out of the room, walking around the ship, but we are getting ready to head to get something to eat because we are starving. We got a drink at the sports bar. That was pretty dope. Um, they do have like wings they offer, but apparently it starts after five. So we thought we were gonna go there as an alternative to the buffet because the buffet is packed, but we gotta go back to the buffet. So that's what we're on the way to now. So we are currently pulling into San Juan, Puerto Rico, where we are going to be here from 5 p.m. to about 11 p.m. And so a short amount of time, but we have some plans of what we're going to do. So I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. So we are preparing to get off the boat. We are docking in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And as I've said earlier, I have some plans of what we want to do in San Juan. So I'm super excited. Earlier, you saw us in our Halloween costume and we pretty much just explored the boat, walked around, <laughs> saw a few people, did a few things. And it was pretty cool. Um, we went to the sports bar, got some food, all those kinds of things that you would typically do. And so now we are prepared to get off of the boat. We'll probably put our Halloween costumes on later when it's time to go to the club and the karaoke. Outfit of the day. So we have made it to La Prina, which is the place that I have gotten arepas from before. The last time I was in Puerto Rico, check out that video up above. And so I brought my husband who is not on that trip to La Prina to be able to get some arepas. And y'all, these arepas are so good. So very good. So I'm excited. And we're gonna get him to look at the menu and I'll show y'all what they look like in just a minute. Alright guys, so we have gotten us 
some arepas and now we have been walking around old san juan um pretty much got a few drinks or a drink and then basically walking around to see what else is around there are a few bars and stuff that are open but just mostly a lot of people just walking around seeing what san juan has to offer this has been a unique experience i've never ported on a cruise at nighttime so you find that you don't really want to do those cruise sponsored excursions because a lot of it is sponsored for the night and this really makes sense to us so we are just walking around seeing what this port has to offer so as we walk around old san juan we are really just taking in the culture seeing what's around here going to some of the bars and clubs but really just walking around this is the first time that i have been in a port at night typically we have docked during the day but in this ship we docked at night in san juan puerto rico which is okay it's just different so we didn't choose to do an excursion because it's nighttime obviously we didn't go to the beach because it's nighttime so we went to the arepa spot i told you guys about that we had a great time and had some great food there and then we are also just walking around old san juan just to see what's over here got a drink or two and really just exploring some churros with nutella yum 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 and my tum 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 All right, y'all, we are back on the ship and back in our Halloween costumes, ready to explore and see what other costumes are out there and just walk around the boat, see what tonight has to offer. We are now in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. I'm about to get off the boat and explore in just a little bit. We're only here for a few short hours, so my goal is to try to get to a beach because I hear they have the most beautiful beaches in the world. So that's the plan. So we are in St. Thomas. Look how beautiful it is. All right, y'all. So we have spent the day or early morning, afternoon in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. We went to Megan Bay Beach, which is really pretty. We got some food on their beach area. I got the conch fritters. Jay got chicken and fries. And then we also got a Johnny cake. That was good. And now we're heading back to the boat. All right, y'all. We are back on the boat and we are at the main bar. About to get some drinks, hang out, and then we're going to take a nap. So we are out of the room now, getting ready to head to dinner at Tapanyaki.
So we are back in our room. We have gone to dinner at the Tapanyaki. That was so very good. And then we were able to go get some chocolate from the chocolate bar. Mm, so, so, so very good. Now we're just hanging out in the room probably for a little while. And then we may hang out and go to the club or karaoke. We have a few things going on tonight on the ship. But right now we're just again exploring the boat, just seeing what it has to offer. Good morning, good morning. We are off the boat and are in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. So we are in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, and we have an excursion planned for today where we get to do some sightseeing through the city, rum tasting at the rum factory, going to a chocolate factory, and also witnessing cigar rolling and cigar sampling as well. I am not a cigar person, but my husband is, so he will very much enjoy this excursion. Okay guys, so we are still on the excursion and we just finished lunch up there. It was a buffet style lunch with like rice and beans, sweet plantains, chicken, beef, and some salad as well. And so now we're walking around some more and then we have the rum tasting and the chocolate factory, I believe, left to do. We are rum tasting at Ron Macquarie. I'm probably saying it wrong, but we are rum tasting in Puerto Plata. Okay, so the last one we tasted was Mama Juana. Next up is a pineapple piña rum. All right, y'all, we have done like four, five shots now. We're going in for our next one. As you saw, my husband had a huge shot that he drank. I'm not that brave, y'all. I don't do straight shots of liquor, so this is very hard for me. I'm a mixed drink type of girl. It's time to go in for another one.
right, guys, we are back on the boat. We had a great time exploring Dominican Republic, seeing all the things that they were to offer, at least on the tour. And so we had a great time seeing Puerto Plata. So now we are getting ready to relax and chill. And then we are gonna go ahead to the all white night, switch into our all white outfits for the party, dinner, and so much more. Stay tuned. We are back on the boat, I have showered, changed, now, and now it is time for dinner and we are heading to the all white party. After we have dinner, of course, but everyone should be dressed in white. I will point out those who have broken the rules. Hi. Good morning, good morning. So we are up and today is our next, well, also last sea day. And I am going to head to breakfast. Jay is in the room for a while because he just wants to hang out and do some work, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna head up to the buffet and see what it has to offer. Last night was the all white party. I went to sleep, Jay went, so he got some footage for me. And so I will show that to you guys or I probably have already shown that to you guys and we'll go from there. All right, time to go to breakfast. All right, I am all done with breakfast, sat and read a good book, and now I'm heading back to the room to drop off my book and then head to bingo because I love cruise ship bingo. Who doesn't? I do. All right, y'all, it is time to head to the bar to get me some drinks. It is a day at sea, so all I'm doing is drinking and eating, drinking and eating, and repeat, drinking and eating. I lost that bingo. But here's the thing I don't like. Other places have like different rounds of bingo. They just had one round, like one round full board. I hated that because usually you get multiple chances to win, but there was literally one chance to win. And if you get a full board before 40 numbers, then you won 25,000, which of course no one got. And if you got a, a full board, after that it was a thousand. So one person won a thousand and they threw in a surprise necklace, which was cool. Congrats to that person, I'm a little salty, but like, I liked it better when you could do like one row, then you get two rows, then you get the whole board. And there's like a lead up to the prize money. So that was a little different, but now I'm back in the casino, I'm gonna stop and get a drink and head to the roulette table. Cause I'm feeling lucky here. We'll see. So y'all. I had been really doing really, really good in the casino, but I had to walk away because they had a dealer switch. And the first dealer switch they had went very well for me because I started winning. The second dealer switch, I tested a few pieces and I kept losing. I was not willing to lose the momentum I had. Y'all know how it is about them dealer switches, if you're a gambler at least. So now I'm about to head back because I went to the room to find my husband, but he was not there. So now I'm gonna head back. I have been doing really good on roulette, so I'm gonna hold on to my chips and so I feel comfortable with gambling again because I am up and it's up and it's up and it's stuck. Okay? Okay, bye. I had a time last night. I drank way too much, barely recorded any of yesterday and have been throwing up all day. Yesterday, last night, this morning, we are just now getting out of the room. It's like <laughs> two o'clock and we are getting off at the Ocean K private island for MSC. venturing over to the lighthouse. It has been very, very windy. If you can hear that, you probably can't even hear me. It's been very, very, very windy. So we haven't really done much, but laid on the beach. Bahamas. It is our last stop on the cruise. We are just shopping around. All 
right guys, so we took the cab from the area where the port is over to this whole strip of a bunch of different restaurants and a lot of like fresh seafood, fresh fry restaurants. And it's like this whole strip just full of bars and restaurants that are outside of the public area with our, some authentic Bahamian food. y'all we just finished eating it was pretty tasty a lot of food for the cost that you pay and we had the bread snapper and conch and rice and peas a salad and mac and cheese so so good All right, y'all, we are back on the boat from Nassau. We had such a great time exploring Nassau. I've been before, but I've never done it this way and going to like the authentic foods and all the different things that you can do. It was really amazing. And there's a lot of boats actually docked here. So there's two Carnival ships, a Disney ship, a Norwegian, no, Royal Caribbean ship, and then us, MSC. So now we are going to chill for an hour or so, and then we're gonna head out for dinner plans. All right, y'all. So last night we went back to the Tapanyaki restaurant. It was so amazing, so good. It was the perfect way to end the night. We ate with a few people that we met on the ship and that was nice just to kind of say like our goodbyes, nice meeting yous, all the things of that. We also then went to the casino for a while, but it was so packed. I wanted to play roulette because I felt like I was going with some money, but it was so packed and I did not want to deal with any of that. So I decided not to gamble. I did play a little bit on the slots, but then I lost $10 and I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing it. Anyway, so I left. Anyway, so now we are on our last day. We are preparing to get off the ship. Our bags have already gone down. Um, and so we're about to get off in a little while. We do have this night in Fort Lauderdale because we don't fly out to six o'clock tomorrow morning, which is a struggle because we have to go straight into work. But it was what the cards gave us as far as flight options. But thank y'all so much for tuning into another one of my videos. I apologize in advance that this video was not as detailed as my other ones have been before. This trip, I really just wanted to enjoy, but also capture for you all. So I tried to do a balance and I hope through editing that comes out. Um, but any questions you guys have about anything whatsoever regarding the trip, please comment down below. I do have another cruise, not with MSC, but with Carnival in December. So I will try to do better in capturing that experience. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you on the next one.